you guys welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna be doing a very exciting Disneyland haul so Sam and I just got back from Disneyland when I am filming this Sam and I got back home last night but this video won't be up for a little bit we had a amazing trip it was so much fun if you didn't catch my unpacking video I talked a lot about more of like what we did and stuff I actually didn't vlog too too much on that trip just because I was just honestly just having so much fun but I did kind of do a little bit of a catch-up and talked about the trip in that unpacking video so if you wanted to know more about how things went with the trip and all of that stuff definitely watch that video but now I am here and I am doing a haul video to show you guys everything I got I have a few things from Target and then just a buttload of stuff from Disneyland and then a couple surprises that I will show at the end so let's get started with Target I actually didn't get too too much but I did get a few things the first thing are these Mandalorian slippers I found these and they were literally five bucks so I'm like I need to have these they're so cute so they kind of look like a little Christmas sweater with just like different designs of Grogu and the Mandalorian and stuff they are so cute they were five bucks I could not say no to these and then they actually had some Hedwig ones that I bought for my sister because my sister loves Harry Potter and I actually got rid of a pair of slippers while we were down there because they were super duper old and they had a gazillion holes in them so I was like perfect new slippers then I picked up a pixie endless silky eye pen these are my absolute favorite eyeliners for my waterline and I always try to grab one whenever I'm in the states I have a few like in kind of like my back stock of eyeliners but I always want to grab one new one while I'm in the states if I can see one when I went to Disneyland in 2021 we actually ended up going to two targets which the second one was not planned but the first one I went to they did not have this well they did have it but they didn't have it in black and then the second target we went to did so I grabbed a few then I grabbed a few last time I was in the states and just grabbed a new one this time then I picked up these shorts I think they're technically athletic shorts but I'm gonna wear these for pajamas I got this blue color and this purple color and they are ribbed as you can see and they have this really high waistband and they're also like pretty tight but I tried them on and they're super duper comfortable and yes they're athletic shorts but I'm actually gonna wear them for pajamas because I always wear shorts for bedtime I cannot sleep in long pants unless it's minus a million degrees outside I thought these would be really good to wear for pajama shorts because they don't feel like they're gonna like roll up or anything I feel like they're gonna be quite comfortable to wear at bedtime so I'm very excited about these I think they were like $12 each I got each of them in a size extra large and then the last thing we picked up at Target we did take this out of the box just to make traveling and bringing it home a little bit easier but we found this in the most random section at Target and we absolutely needed to have it and when it scanned in it was only 20 bucks so we're like heck yeah so Sam and I really don't collect Funko Pops never have just never got on that train of Funko Pops however we do have a Alan Grant and a Adley Sadler Funko Pop for our Jurassic Park shelf in the basement and so when we saw this even though it's a Funko Pop which we don't collect we needed to have it and it is a raptor attacking Muldoon Funko Pop this is just amazing and we needed to have it this is so cool I love it it was twenty dollars is so cool and it fits like it fits we don't have any Funko Pops except for two random Jurassic Park Funko Pops so of course we needed this Funko Pop to go with the collection of Jurassic Park Funko Pops so that is everything that we got from Target we also got like some snacks and stuff this particular Target I have gone to many times because it's very close to Disneyland and for the last couple trips we've been on it has been very like hit or miss more on the miss side than the hit side and this time was such a hit we found some great stuff for our nieces and nephews that we brought home and we got a ton of snacks that we brought to the parks so we weren't buying a ton of like Disney snacks and stuff because that can get expensive so it was great I always recommend if you're in Disneyland hit up that target because even if they don't have a great ton of stuff like Jurassic Park Funko Pops 
it's just great to get like snacks and stuff there for your days in the park because it is definitely way cheaper to get it there than in the park. So I really wanted to get myself some sort of coffee tumbler. I always see these tumblers that they have at Disney and I love them so much. And I always wanted one, but I could never justify myself getting one because up until last year, I did not drink any sort of like coffee or anything like that. But in the last like year and a bit, I have been really drinking drinking a lot of iced coffee. I drink basically an iced coffee almost every single day. So I was finally able to justify getting myself a Disneyland tumbler. And I looked at the Starbucks ones and they were very nice, but I ended up going with this tumbler instead. So this is from the 2023 collection, not the 100th merch or anything like that. I really love this design. So we have all of the characters along the side there. We have the castle. Very cute, and then it does have this little flag on the straw, which is totally removable, but it holds a ton of liquid for my iced coffees. And this was $27.99, which is a little bit pricey, but the Starbucks ones were like 50 bucks. And even though they were very nice and very trendy, I just really, really liked this one a lot more. I think it's way more my style with like Disney characters and stuff like that. So I decided to go with this tumbler for myself. And then this purchase was absolutely not planned at all until I saw Tori's boyfriend buy one of these and then I looked at it. I was like, I need one of those. It is the special edition Disney 100 stainless steel thermos. I had absolutely no intention of getting anything like this. However, Nick bought it for himself and I was looking at it and I needed to have it. It says Disney 100. We have tons of stuff. We have the castle, King Arthur's carousel. We have Tinkerbell at the top there, the railroad, and then we have Mickey. And then we have the different streets and stuff at the Disney studios. And the biggest thing that got me to buy this mug was the fact that it has Walt Disney on it. I love so much when Walt is included in merch, in shows, in things like that. It makes my heart so happy because he's the one who started all of this. The second I saw that this mug had Walt on it, I was like, I need to get myself one of these. It does come with like a lanyard and like an attachment to, I don't know, wrap this around your neck or something like this. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to use this for. I don't think I'm going to use this on this, but either way it came with this. The lanyard looks like this. It says Disney parks. It has Mickey and Walt on it. And it says on the other side, a hundred years of wonder. This wasn't really a purchase because we did already have these ears, the bride and groom ears. I actually had a friend pick these up for me when she was going to Disney world. We brought them along on this trip because it was our honeymoon technically. And we got our wedding date embroidered onto them. So we got gold on these ones and then black on these ones. I believe this was just like the classic font. They have like the two fancy ones now and they showed us how this looked on the computer and I really really liked it. I love the little swirls between the numbers. I think that's so cute. So not really a new purchase because we bought these the ears forever ago but we did get them embroidered finally with our wedding date and I'm very happy about that. And then speaking of hats, Sam bought himself a hat that I love. I think this is so cute. He found this hat in California Adventure. It was sold in other places, but he found this and just like instantly was like, I want to buy this for myself. And he thought about it for a few days and he just loved it. So it's just this gray hat with the black brim. And then the little symbol there is the Pixar symbol. And what I absolutely love about this hat is on the inside on the brim, they're very tiny, but you can just make out little Luxos and little Luxo balls. And he's so cute about it. He doesn't like get excited about things like Walt Disney being on a mug like I do, but it was very cute to see him get so excited about something like this, just like a hat. These are the ears that I bought for myself. I think I said in my planning video, I can't remember. So while I was packing for this trip, I put together two outfits that I didn't have any like ears for or anything. And my intention was to buy a pair of pink ears to go with those two outfits. On our first day in Disneyland, it was just Sam and I, but Tori had messaged me that they had arrived in Anaheim and they were there and she said just walking through downtown Disney, she bought herself five pairs of ears. So I asked her to show me some photos of some of the ears and this was one of the pairs that she had bought herself. And as soon as I saw it, I instantly was like, I need those ears. 
and it is Mickey Lumberjack Ears. How perfect can you get? Last year, June 2022, was the 10 year anniversary of when I moved to Walt Disney World to work there for a year and I was a lumberjack in my position. I've met some of my best friends through that program and I will obviously never ever ever forget that year that I spent in Walt Disney World. And so yes, I didn't get any pink ears but I am very happy to have these ones. I think they're so cute. I love them so very, very much. Absolutely so perfect for me and for my life. I love these, I do not regret at all getting these over some pink ears and then sam and i found these at a store in galaxy's edge and they are galactic credits so they have four different styles of credits and i love them i think they're so cool obviously you can take them out and do something with them but i am 100 percent just going to leave these in the box and display them somewhere in the basement because i think these are so cool i've never seen anything like this before but i am very glad i found them they were in i don't know what it's called but in like the very expensive store of galaxy's edge the store that sells like all the like really cool exciting memorabilia so i bought these there and i love them they were 30 dollars, so a little bit pricey for like kind of what you're getting but I love them. I think they're so cool. And I bought myself one sweater. This is actually the only clothing item I bought myself, but I love it so much. It is a gray sweater and it just has the classic Mickey and it says Disneyland on it. I love this. I've actually already worn it. I wore it on the plane ride home yesterday. It is absolutely so soft and so cozy. I love this so much. I actually bought this for myself and then I show, sent a picture of it to my sister and she said she wanted one. So they had it in two other colors. They had it in white and light blue. So she asked for the white one. So I picked that up for her. I can't remember if there was any other clothing item I was kind of debating between getting because usually I can find a few things that I want, but I'm like, okay, I don't need 17 different things. So I'm just going to kind of like think about it and narrow it down. But I really, when I think about it, I can't really think of anything else I kind of wanted. There was a long sleeve 100th celebration shirt that I was thinking about. But as soon as I saw this, that was just completely thrown off the table because I just wanted this so much more. And I will definitely wear this more often than I would wear that. So that's why I picked up this. Sam picked this out. Another thing that Sam picked out that he was like, can we get this? I think this would look so cute on our bed. So last year during like the Halloween season, I put a skeleton pillow on our bed for just decoration. And then throughout the rest of the year when it's not Halloween I just have this like yellow pillow on the bed to go with the bed sheets So Sam found this in the Christmas store and he loved it so much and he was like could this go on our bed at Christmas time Instead of the yellow pillow and I was like, yeah, of course it can and he was so excited about it And I just absolutely love when Sam gets so excited about something especially Like things like our house like I was so excited when he was so excited about that hat but it makes me so happy when he like thinks about things like decorations for our house because I know it's not really like a boy thing to get excited about things like that. So when he actually like finds something that he like really, really likes and really wants, it makes me so happy and I just like had to make it happen. He at first was like, I don't think this will fit in our suitcase and just because he wanted it so badly, I was like, we'll make it work. I will make this pillow work in our suitcase. And obviously it did, we got it home. We Now we have this adorable Happy Holidays pillow for Christmas time. So then I just have my pins that I got this trip and then the surprise. So we're almost done. I got one pin for the 100th celebration and I decided to get this pin right here, which is Mickey Mouse. They had a ton of different characters in this design that were all platinum with, with like one standout color. So this is Mickey. Obviously I picked Mickey because he's like the original. So I have him and then I wanted to get a pin to signify that it was our honeymoon and they had the pin which was like the two interlocking rings. One was Mickey, one was Minnie and I thought it was cute but then I saw this one and I was like this one I love way more and so I picked out this one to be like our honeymoon pin and it is just this little one of Minnie and Mickey watching fireworks and it says my house.
happy place is with you. And then I got a couple of Oswald pins. The first Oswald pin I got was for the Lunar New Year because it was the year of the rabbit. So I got a little Oswald 2023 pin. I thought this was really cute. And then I also got this one because, you know, Oswald is just the best. And I also met Oswald. I know I met Oswald in 2021, but I didn't get to hug him because they were still doing distancing. So this is the first trip I've been on since that trip where characters are actually like able to uh, give you hugs and stuff and sign autographs. So I actually finally got to like meet Oswald properly and give him a hug and get his autograph. So I got a little pin to kind of commemorate that. And then you know I had to get some Star Wars pins because if you remember when I did my pin board redoing video or whatever, I mentioned that I don't have very many Star Wars pins and I'm not happy about it. I got two Star Wars pins. The first one is the Millennium Falcon. It is a open edition. I don't really know what that means, but it is this one. And I picked this one specifically because this was the first trip I've been on where I actually got to pilot the Millennium Falcon on Smuggler's Run, which was very exciting. I got to jump to light speed, which was just so exciting. So I picked up this one. This one I picked up, I just really, really liked this. It is like a complete saga set of pins. So we have the prequels, we have the original series, and then we have the sequels. So it's like a set of all of them. I love it so much. And then this isn't really a pin, but I did want to talk about this a little bit. I mentioned it in my vlog, but I wanted to just kind of touch on it and talk about it again. So Nick found out about this. Basically, this is a Disney gift card. It looks like a galactic credit but it's a gift card so basically what it is is you go to the droid depot at galaxy's edge and you can purchase this gift card the gift card itself is like five dollars and when you purchase it you are purchasing a hundred dollars to go onto the gift card so when we purchased this it, it was a hundred and five dollars but they put $100 onto the gift card. So basically, you're paying this $105, but you're getting back $100 in Disney gift card credit. We very easily spent that <laughs> the next day. If you're like a Star Wars collector, I think this is a really cool, kind of cheap, cheap-ish because it is $100 up front, but I mean, then you can spend it. And it's a really cool Star Wars souvenir to have when you like go back to Disney for another vacation you can bring this and they can reload it for you I probably am just gonna keep it here to add with like my other credits that I bought myself and just have it as a display because I think this is so cool okay and then I have two more things to show that I didn't buy but were surprises so let me show them the first thing was a gift from Tori's parents for Sam and I. Since we were there for our honeymoon, they gave us this beautiful frame. It has the castle there and just so much beautiful work around it. So they gave us this beautiful frame that I am so excited to pick out a photo to place in here for our memory of our honeymoon. So like I said, this was from Tori's parents, Linda and Ray. So thank you guys so much for this gift. I absolutely love it and I can't wait to put something in there and then display it. And then this was a gift from Tori and Nick. I am absolutely obsessed with this. When I visited Tori in September, she showed me this picture. Basically, Nick took this photo and like made this print for Tori's mom and gave it to her and I saw it when I visited in September and I was absolutely obsessed with it. So they made us a copy of it and I am so in love with it. It is this beautiful like metal sheet photo of the Walt Disney World castle. And like I said, Nick took this photo and edited it. So it looks completely abandoned. Like it doesn't look like there's a single person on Main Street and the colors are just absolutely stunning. We have the beautiful white of the different lights on Main Street and then the castle is just absolutely gorgeous blue. I am so excited and I have absolutely no idea where I'm gonna hang this, but I can't wait 
to put this up somewhere. I am just absolutely in love with this and it just means so much to me that Nick made a copy of this for me after hearing that I absolutely loved the one that he made for Tori's mom. Thank you so much to Nick and Tori for this gift. I love it so 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 very much and I can't wait to put it up. So I'm just cleaning up the room here after filming my haul video and I totally forgot to show this but I also got this adorable Steamboat Willie print on a postcard. I love this so much. The artist is Jason Ratner. I love this so much so I'd find a place to put this but yeah forgot to show this so I got this as well. That is everything that is everything that I got at Target in Anaheim. Everything that we got in Disneyland and then a couple of random gifts that I was not expecting but I love. Thank you to Linda and Ray for the beautiful frame. Thank you to Nick and Tori for the gorgeous photo. Can't wait to get those both up in the house and now I have to clean up this room because it's a mess. But anyway, that is going to be it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, I would love it if you would like and subscribe. I post new videos every single Friday and I would love to have you here. Thank you for watching. I will talk to you later. Bye everybody.